What's going on, everybody? This is Adam with BodyMorphPros.com. I am here with an IFBB Pro member, Miss Melanie Petit. Tell us, how you feeling today? Oh, I'm, I'm just having a great time. I am actually out in the audience enjoying the show. And just yeah, now you can have a little bit of fun. Exactly. I'm, I'm like, I get to look up there and see everyone else <laughs> looking, waiting for their number to be called. And, and it's just, it's a great feeling. Because now you've been through this before. You know what it feels like to be that competitor hoping that exactly. your number gets called, that they like what they see. see You've exactly. been all through that, so you can relate a little bit. Now, your day of competition was on Thursday, correct? correct? correct. And how did, how did your day go? You know, tell, tell us a little bit about your day. Uh, well, actually, it started out really great. Mm -hmm. um, surprisingly enough, I got up and I was like, okay, we're going to do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nerves were kind of relaxed, a little bit better. I was pretty right, shaky right. that night before going to bed. I just wasn't sure, as, as we, right. all, we all are. We doubt ourselves. Um, so but the, yeah, those last minute uh-ohs. Right. Yeah, it's like, oh no, did I do this right? Did is I need gonna, five more minutes did, did of cardio? I need, right. Yeah. I mean, did, did I eat the right thing? Did I overeat? Did I undereat? Mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. All of those questions that go through your head. Um, but I had a real, my roommate and I had a really good time. We hung out backstage and, you know, we played the woosa thing together and <laughs> right, right. The, yeah you know and kind of just made it fun and that's kind of how we did and, and got called up and in fact when they call the numbers I'm like um oh with me what, me oh, <laughs> yeah, oh me? hi I gotta, go. yeah. I gotta go right uh -huh. so it was it was a, a pleasant a pleasant shock I, I was greatly appreciative to the judges I really was so just here out of, out of curiosity going from say the amateur ranks to now being a pro. You've, you've been a pro for a few years now. Correct, correct. What have you noticed is the most difficult thing in making that jump? Uh, like, for example, when you were still on an amateur status, did right. you find that walking into a show, you had maybe a little more confidence of just knowing I'm going to beat you and everybody else? But now at the pro level, it's a little more cutthroat. It's a little more, hey, dude, you look exactly like me, and oh, you look exactly right. like me too. Is it, what have you seen that's been the hardest transition? And you're right. Um, the the thing, the difference is, is like you're starting all over again. Mm -hmm. um, everybody looks great. I mean, you have to think about you are in the uh, the elite of the elite. Tip of the sword, right? Yeah. Exactly. So um, your mindset has to be totally different. Um, what I have noticed is um, a lot of people, and and you can't help it. You know, you you get off of that. Um, stage and mm -hmm. you're like oh you get your pro card and you want to run and you want to jump and you want to do your first show and i think the best thing <laughs> is like get, then and then you get then backhanded you, in that oh, first show right, right right and i think if, if you do that I, I think the experience is good but i think you have to go into it with the right attitude and a lot of times they the people that do go in and they'll bust the top five you know or the top ten very quickly mm -hmm. um i think the best thing to do is if you just have that attitude is like you know what I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna get the experience. Learning experience. I'm gonna learn the process, I'm gonna get with the judges and find out what it is that I need to improve on. Because realistically, you know, if you go from an amateur show to a pro show pretty quickly and they give you some critiques, you really don't have time, much time to work on, right, on any right. changes. Mm -hmm. um, but it's that excitement. And I, you know, I don't wanna bust anybody's joy. I'm like, hey, go out there, go ahead and do mm -hmm. it, get the experience. Mm -hmm. I, will, I am the first person that'll tell you, go ahead and do it. Mm -hmm. I, my best thing is advice and, and the most difficult part is just the expectation. Pay attention. Pay attention. Some, some advice from a pro here. The expectation. <laughs> the huh? expectation. Yeah, just is just go in there. Know that you're going to have a good time. Network. Meet some people. Talk to some pros. Get an idea of what it's like to be on the pro stage. Because it, it is different. Mm -hmm. it, it really is. But I'm like, go for it. I say go for it. That's awesome to hear. And that's so what I did. coming up from Atlanta then, what's next for you? Are you going to go back home and there's going to be some shows maybe more centralized to your location or are you just going to be covering the continent you know wh what's next for you what's uh what's next next show in your in your sites um right now uh, i'm probably going to be this is going to be it for me for the mm -hmm. year mm -hmm. um i am going to go and i'm going to enjoy the the 50th anniversary of the olympia mm -hmm. so I, that was one of my little bucket list items when mm -hmm. i got my pro card a couple of years ago i said mm -hmm. i wanted to do that so i'm going to go back i'm going to take a little bit of a break go enjoy the olympia get the body back in order, work on some things. And but you uh, want to compete in the Olympia or just go and no, be a spectator? No, 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 go watch. I, no, no, oh, no, 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 no. That's why I want to get on stage. No, I didn't no. know. I have some friends. I have a lot of friends that are, that are doing it and mm -hmm. I want to support them and be there. And so I, I said that, that was going, that's going to be my next show that I want to do is to do it as a spectator mm -hmm. instead of as a participant. So then, so right now then, so it's back to the drawing board, take some time off, correct. maybe add a little size, do some corrections and some tweaking, correct, correct. and then just come back exactly. bigger and better as usual. Exactly. 
exactly. This this venue is awesome. I love it. I it's a fun time. I'm not gonna lie. I'm my, having a good time here too. I love it here. This is my third year here. Mm -hmm. um, a two year first year as an amateur, second year got my pro card, second time I did it, and then now again as a pro. And I I mean I love it. The setup is just awesome. That's great to hear. Yes. So all right then, you got any shout outs? You want to give any thanks to like who are some of the people that that are your rock that stand with you as you train, as you compete, as you prepare. Who's along, who's, who's, who's there with you for the ride? Oh wow, my mom, oh my gosh, my mom, who makes sure that I have all my fruit, my fruits, my vegetables. You know what, I gotta say one thing. How many competitors do we get up here? No one thanks their mama. No one, <laughs> no one ever thanks mom. Always thank mom. mom. Go ahead, oh, go ahead. Oh gosh, yeah. Thanks mom. mama, okay. Thanks mom, uh, thanks dad for putting up with me too because <laughs> my very first show, I'm telling you, they're old fashioned. And um, I, I think my mother was watching me from the audience. Like, you know, we, so we were fine she once we go to the front. Went, oh, no. We went around to the back. This is my mom. <laughs> so, <laughs> and, you know, I want to thank mom and dad for to hanging in there and realizing that, you know, this, this, this sport is what I, I enjoy. You know, yeah. they, it, it, once they realized that it was something that I really enjoy, they kind of got on the bandwagon. But they, like I said, they're old fashioned, but they've been mm -hmm. there. They're supporting me all the way. Um, I have an awesome coach, um, IFBB pro Daryl Stafford, who old school back in the day got his pro card at one of the nationals uh, back around 89. Mm -hmm. And he has been phenomenal. He started with me when, as he says, he says, there's a picture of Mel when she was about this big, arms about this big, she's about, he swears I was 90 pounds, I was 100. <laughs> and he said, give me a year, girl, let me put some size on you, uh -huh. then let's talk. I came to him all eager, I wanna do a show, I wanna do a show, and he's like, oh, no, let's slow, down. slow down, sweetheart, Let, let's work yeah. with you. And he has stuck by me, I mean, ever since, ever since and I'm loyal to him, he's awesome. That's great. I love him to death, we have that, I told him we have that love-hate relationship. Uh -huh. So those Some days you want to kill him. Some days you want to kiss him. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. My brother and his wife, who um, unfortunately could not be here, but they sent me shout outs. Right. And I right. told him, I said, OK, dude, I finally you know, I'm a pro now. Been one or two years, but I'm really a pro. He said when I got paid, he'd believe I was a pro. So I'm like, OK, I'm a pro now. <laughs> <laughs> making it work for you. I'm making it work. No, that's so beautiful. That, that's, that's, that's my network and, and uh, uh, several friends who are, you know, are just there to Help me you can't along. do this without the great support staff. Yes, exactly. That's great. Exactly. So, so for you future pros, always remember your support team. Exactly. Well then, hey, thanks Thank for uh, taking the time. Thank Big congratulations you so much. to you. Thank you for this a good is, showing here. Yes. And of exactly. course, so on behalf of Body More Pros, this is IFBB Pro Miss Petit and Adam here. We'll see you guys back in the shows.